using cloud-based Git services like GitHub, Bitbucket or GitLab has become a widespread practice in project development. Git, being a free and open source distributed version control system, is tailored to manage projects of different scales, ensuring swift and efficient collaboration. In this tutorial, we'll go through the process step by step of pushing a project from IntelliJ Community Edition to a remote GitHub repository. I have already covered this topic previously with the older version of IntelliJ, which was 2021. After that, a lot of things has been changed in the recent version of IntelliJ Community Edition. So in this video, I am going to use the latest version of IntelliJ IDEA, which is 2023.2. I have already installed IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition latest version on my machine. So let me create a new project. So this is the welcome screen of IntelliJ IDEA. Click on new project and give the project name like IntelliJ to GitHub. You can give any name and I will keep this project as a Java project. You can follow the same steps for any kind of project. Let me click on create. I am not going to add any files or folders because whatever it has auto generated the same code i am going to push to my github repository so the first step is we need to make this project as a git project for that we need to enable it you see one option called version control you need to select this and here we have one option called share project on select this share project on and here we have some default option like github in space but suppose you are using bitbucket or gitlab those direct options we don't have here so Let's click on other services. However, I am using GitHub, but just to show for any kind of Git based cloud project, I am going to select other services. Now we are getting the same window which we used to get in older version of IntelliJ. And here I need to select which version control system I want to use. So I am going to use Git. So select Git and click on OK. So as soon as I perform that step, it is saying that cannot run Git. Git is not installed. This I have done purposefully because some people get confused like when we are using IntelliJ and we don't have Git installed, then also we can push and pull the changes from or to the cloud repository, which is not correct. Now we have two options. Either you go and download the Git and install it, or we can directly use the link provided by IntelliJ to download and install. So let me use this option download and install and it will quickly download and install for you there's no need to go to git website to download the file and you can see it is installing the git here it will take some time so let's wait now you can see one message git has been installed let's repeat the same process of enabling the git in your project select version control go to share project on other services git is already selected click on ok so this time we can see it is showing that created git repository in this particular folder this is similar to git init command and now you can see it is showing you master this is local master early it was version control but once we enable git in this project we see master if you expand it you can see it is showing that it is a local branch called a master. Second step will be we need to commit the changes. For that, you can right click on the project and then you see one option called git. This is the one way. Another way we can expand this master and we see commit. From here also we can perform the same steps. So whatever options you are comfortable, you can use it. So let's right click on this project and select git. Now select commit directory. Here we can see it is showing that we have some seven files and version. So let me select only main.java because I don't want to push everything. So you can select it and give one commit message like first commit we need to use commit now because we have not configured the remote yet but we can select anything commit or commit and push but let's follow the process step by step so let's click on commit since we have installed git freshly we have not set the username and email id this is the one time process so let me give my name and i will use the email id like the target common at gmail.com you need to use yours, don't use mine. Now click set and commit. You can see it is saying that set properties globally. Click on set and commit. We are all done. Let's go to project again. Right click on this project. Go to git 
and then click on push and here it is showing that we have not defined any remote so it is asking you to define the remote but before defining the remote we need to create one repository on github so that my changes from my local IntelliJ repository should be pushed to some cloud repository so let me quickly create one repository on github you can use any cloud based services here like bitbucket or gitlab it will be the same process let me quickly sign in and i am going to create a new repository you can give any name and this will be public or private whatever you want to have you can put it and click on create now we need to copy this url because this is your address and this address i need to use as a remote in my intellij so copy it go to your intellij again and here we have something called define remote click on this it says name origin because this is remote and paste the url click on ok so it is saying that origin master if you want to change this branch name you can change it also simply select it and you can give any name but let it be master by default and click on push anyway so now we need to authenticate we have created the github repository as public but doesn't mean that anyone can send the code to that repository we need to authorize that so we have multiple options we can log in to github account and it will automatically take care of that authentication or we can use the token so let's use token select this use token option and here we need to generate it so again generating the token has different ways you can go to your github profile and from your settings here we have something called developer settings and you can see personal access token from here also you can generate the token let's generate a new token here click on generate new token use the classic one give some name to it using the note like new token anything you can give it will be expiring in 30 days and select the scope whatever access you want to provide you can provide to it so i've just selected the basic one and click on generate token so we can see it has generated some alpha numeric values this is your access token and make sure that you are generating yourself you are not using my access token so copy it and go to intellij again and paste the token here or if you want to generate through intellij you can use this option as well now click on login now you can see the message pushed master to new branch origin slash master this master is local and it was post to origin that means remote master and if you go to your github and go to your repository whatever we just created we should see the codes there so here you can see it was post src first commit 5 minutes ago and here we have main.java same code whatever we had in intellij now if you expand this master you should see master branch in local and also we have something called remote now where we have master earlier this remote option was not coming because we have not pushed our changes to the remote repository but now we have posted so we have remote option as well so that's all in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone